Hi, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about unsteady unsaturated flow. And this is a part of our bachelor level course on groundwater hydrology. Okay. In the previous lecture, we discussed about uh, a steady state unsaturated flow. But here we wanted to talk about unsteady unsaturated flow, which is one of the most common flow regimes under field conditions where water content, magic potential, and flux vary in time and space. Okay. Basically, what we wanted to do, we wanted to derive an equation uh, that is used to uh, describe the flow under unsteady and unsaturated conditions. Okay, so to do so, let's assume, let's consider this control volume of soil, okay? And as you may know, the difference between the volumetric flux that is entering and exiting this control volume is equal to the time rate change of the volume of water in that control volume if the density is constant, if we assume the density remains constant. Okay, so if now you you basic the mathematical form of this statement will be so here you have qx that is the velocity entering here in the x direction and that is the outflow. So here it is qx. This one will be qx plus the derivative of qx with respect to dx times dx. Okay, so that is the velocity. If I multiply the velocity by the area, I get the volumetric flux. Okay, so as I mentioned in the previous slide the difference between the volumetric flux that is entering and exiting your control volume so in other words qx in minus qx out times the area area here will be equal to this area the area of this phase which is uh, will be dz times dy so dy times dz the area times the, uh, the change in the velocity this one will be equal to time rate change of the volume of water in that control volume. So remember the definition of the water content theta was volume of water divided by the total volume, right? So the total, the total volume of this control volume is dx divided dz. So this dx divided dz basically will be out by the total volume here because the water content is what water volume of water divided by total volume by this dx divided dz will be out. Therefore, this expression gives me the time rate change of the volume of the water okay anyway so now for qx in we know it is qx qx out we know it's this expression so qx minus this term this qx will be out so you will end up with minus dqx over dx times dx so this dx times dy times dz this three dx divided dz will be out by this dx divided dz so all you will have here is d theta over dt, the derivative of water content with respect to time is equal to minus, that comes here uh, with a minus sign here, huh? Uh, because qx minus qx minus the second term. Therefore, that is the, the minus uh, sign shows up here. Uh, so the derivative of the water content with respect to time will be equal to minus uh, derivative of uh, dx, uh, qx uh, with respect to x. Okay, so all you need, to, you, you need to do here is to substitute this q with the Darcy velocity. Okay, and here I'm doing that for the vertical flow. Uh, so I wanted to include as well the gravity term. So derivative of the water Content with respect to time is equal to derivative with respect to uh, here since it is vertical flow I use the z here and remember in the in the Bokingham Dorsey equation we had a minus sign q was equal to minus k times uh, the gradient of the, the times the hydraulic gradient so that minus with with uh, this minus will be out that will be positive right and uh, and then, so instead of Q, I just simply write K times the derivative of uh, uh, magic potential with respect to Z plus one. And that one here, if you remember, that stands for the gravity. Okay, so that is the equation um, that describes the, the, the flow under unsteady and unsaturated condition for vertical flow and one dimensional okay and you can of course write it as well in the in the 3d condition and the three time for the three dimensional flow in that case the derivative uh, of water content with respect to time will be equal to uh, the derivative with the, uh, the derivative with respect to x times k h times derivative of h with respect to x that is the for the flow in the x direction you have the exact the same uh, term here for the y direction okay and one for the z direction plus the derivative of the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity 
with respect to uh, z direction and this is this term is basically coming from here that is the derivative because kh times one is kh therefore derivative of kh uh, with respect to z okay and that comes here so this term is for gravity okay so that is for the x direction for the y direction and for the z direction and that uh, uh, take into account uh, the, the, the 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 gravity okay and this equation is called Richard's equation. So Richard's equation is the most general, uh, uh, basically, equation to describe, uh, it's a general equation to describe unsteady and unsaturated flow. Okay, so basically, to so you need to, uh, you can solve this, uh, this uh, equation numerically to basically calculate the uh, flux and water content and, and, and so on. And there are actually commercial software available uh, that can be used uh, to solve uh, Richard's uh, equation on the different boundary uh, condition, okay? So, so that was a short lecture about Richard's equation and, uh, uh, and where does it come from? And, uh, and I hope you found this uh, lecture helpful. Thank you.